Well, if you've ever had chicken pox, you are at risk for shingles. As a matter of fact, one in three people will get shingles during their lifetime. Joining us today, Dr. Denica Moore to help us educate us more about the risk. Doctor, how are you this morning? I'm great, Tom. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell us about some of the signs, symptoms, and complications from having shingles. Well, I think the most important thing is for people to know what shingles is. Shingles is a disease that's caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox. And when we get chicken pox or are exposed to it, the virus lives dormant in our system for years and even decades. And then suddenly with no warning or no advance notice, it can erupt into a painful red blistering rash on one side of the body typically. Um, in general, it's most commonly affects people on their chest or torso, but it really can affect any part of the body, including the face. Uh, and the main characteristic is this painful blistering, uh, which is really different than any other kind of condition. And, and you know, I understand I've, I've had it actually myself as well as a number of folks that I know and literally air just passing over it can hurt, it can irritate, it can be extremely discomforting. Yeah, and I'm so sorry that you had to go through it. I think people who haven't had shingles or haven't known somebody who have had shingles uh, have a hard time understanding how painful it can be. And the fact is the symptoms can last for up to 30 days. Um, you know, and as you mentioned, you can actually get it again. Um, but there also are people who can develop a complication of shingles called postherpetic neuralgia, which is a mouthful, so we shorten it to PHN which can affect up to 20% or 2 out of 10 people who've had shingles, where the pain and the symptoms are prolonged for years after the initial uh, episode. And those people very often say, make this comment about a, a light breeze going by can cause tremendous pain or even the sensation of their clothing on their skin can be very uncomfortable. And, and I guess this is one of the things that people need to understand about the risk of having shingles. Uh, what are some of the other symptoms? Uh, I, I know it was just sort of a burning sensation at first, the second time I had it, sort of a burning sensation. It felt like it was just creeping around my back to my side and to my front. And I went in and talked with the doctor and, and I said, this is what I think it is. And so then they prescribed something to me. What do they normally prescribe for shingles? Well, the most important thing is to get in to see your doctor as soon as possible. Um, the good news is there are treatments available. The bad news is there's no cure. Um, so our mainstay of treatment is a category of medicines called antiviral medicines, and those really do need to be given within the first 72 hours of the symptoms to work effectively. What they do is decrease the symptom severity and also decrease the length of time that you may experience uh, the symptoms. But for the most part, what your doctor may offer you is pain management. I think it is important for people, especially people over 50, to talk to their doctor about what their risk is uh, for shingles. Um, I think it's important for all of us to know about this because one in three Americans can get this. Um, and there's about a million new cases a year. So this is a pretty common thing. I also recommend that people go to shinglesinfo.com so they can actually see what this rash looks like. Um, it's got a great photo gallery with um, pictures differentiating mild, moderate, and severe cases. Uh, it's not pretty, I will tell you that. Um, but people can also assess their own risk on the site. Doc, you've been extremely helpful to us. Thank you so much. The information where, where we can get some more information as well. Thank you once again. More on Thank Low Country Live coming thank up. Thank you, Tom. More on Low Country Live coming up after the break. Thank you, Doctor.